at times. They, they do enjoy theirs. Their nicotine. Meanwhile, burning in the bottom lane, finagling around, but could get caught out here. I do have Fenrir in position. They need just the troll range slow here. If they can get that all, oh, burning. This could be your first blood. Here Looking comes ID though. Concussive shot. It's going to be too late. It looks like one more auto attack. Disruption. Maybe they could turn it. Looking for the surround. The torrents there. Too late. First blood claimed by the Scarlet. They might get the trade though. Burning. Or no, how actually? Or they should say a little bit too tanky. It's Fenrir they may have to settle for. Faith chasing him out is going to have one more torrent. And if he hits this one, Fender is dead. He skirts away from it, though, and I don't think Chuan has this one. Gods, concussive shot. Going to drive him back. A clean first blood claimed by Vici Gaming. Be the death of how. Runs up to high ground. Will get a tango off, but what does it really matter? Tord comes through. A clean takedown, this time for IG. Makes it one-to-one. -one. Yeah. Dominating right now. The top three farmers and two of the Vici Gaming cores in single-digit CS. Well, that may change with that, at least in terms of the domination factor with Burning going down bottom lane. Nice Dragon Slave to do some chip damage, and Luo will be forced to cancel his charge. He almost has Nether Strike. Fairly tanky yeah. as far as his armor goes when he's in melee form. Oh, uh, Luo, he wants to dive. This time he's got a Shadow Fiend in tow. They're going to clear out the wave. He isolates FY behind the tree line, starts giving him the lantern. The lift's there, tosses him across the treeway. Nicely done by FY, but they're getting really corralled and cornered here. Dragon Slave on two, charge follow through, and now Super looks for the turn. Nice RP, Shockwave fall off, only hitting Burning though. And now the chase. Benrir gonna drop as well, it's a triple for 430, and he continues to fly around. He's got more raises, whiffs one. He's got a second, he'll connect on that, and down goes Super too. Not a quad for 430, but he'll take the kill for his team nonetheless, gods. And Suddenly, there's a mech. This kind of play style. Luo gallops in. We saw this yesterday against Alliance, and we'll see it again here. The Mad Cow reemerges. The Fiend in 32 on Lena. Burning going deep at the bottom lane. It's a charge onto Fenrir, and easy Laguna kill. Burning hits the LSA on Ice 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 as he TPs in, and yeah, Burning he wanted no to TP go of his own. He wanted to go top with FY and look for a kill, but because of that dive, they rotate bottom instead and look to make it a one for one. Out comes the supernova, and that'll be enough to secure the counter kill. That was nice. Ice 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 hitting every fire spirit, and I think so. They'll probably look to stick together in the Radiant Jungle, at least have three or four heroes sticking nearby each other. Oh. 430 walked into this smoke. He walks into four heroes, but I don't know if he's the one you want to go on. They're going to look to turn this now. Mech. Him popped and he's kept alive. Now the dive around by Ice Ice Ice, 430. Will drop, but not before the Requiem comes out. Now the Supernova to turn it. And meanwhile, on the back lines, how as well as Super cleaned up. Two cores down. The Phoenix Egg will go off. There's Boat the was waiting for him, though. But no follow up. And all oh, they X him. Where are you going, Ice Ice Ice? Nowhere fast. They'll bring down FY stolen boat. Who really cares? Ice 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 will fall as well. And IG just making short work of Ichi Gaming. It's four dead. Four for nil. For an Aegis, I guess, but I mean, that's why you have an Aegis, to take a team fight like so that. 430 just runs Nicole. into the entire Vici Gaming team. You have just a Shadow Fiend with Aegis on the high ground. You should be pretty safe. Oh, they find Ice 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 nicely done with the, the charge, giving Vision for an X follow-up. Can they kill off Ice Ice Ice? You betcha. Great little bash there at the end to secure the kill. I think IG, especially now the BKB, can take these Tier 2 towers somewhat methodically. They are securing their late game. Midas picked up by Luo, who's now level 11. They won't be going for a high ground siege until they've got that Aegis, because that's when the slow siege comes into play. Oh, 430, he just walks right in. Great okay. RPs there, and now they skewer two back. 430 kept alive the boat that was stolen earlier coming out, but oh, not too much avail. Faith just going to run forward and will end up killing off Super. Now the Yule, the follow-up coming through. A wild courier appears, quickly dealt with. Suddenly four dead again. Oh, there's a charge as well. Is he going into the fountain? Luo. He made... Oh, come on, Luo. Come on. You oh. wanted to. <laughs> Phoenix was Okay, respawning. he has to use his Midas, guys. Let's yeah. not give him okay. too much shit on the side of Ichi Gaming. And that's a troll with the Magnus. We saw earlier today, this this hero can be as far ahead as the Shadow Fiend is, but not the way this game is going. Uh, hello, Super. Blinks out, but not before Luo gets off a single hero stun. Now Silence just walking on through, and a hasted Swagger Fiend struts up as well. Looks for Fenrir, going to find him too. Boat coming through. Won't really connect on anyone, but gives them the buff. This will allow the dive follow-up. Speaking of dives, Ice 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 wants to use his own, but he goes for the egg in the middle of everybody. They can focus this down as a squad. They will. And again, four heroes fall. It's a triple for 430. Burning. I think this game is just over at this point. This There's is nothing like, Vici can do. This is looking like that IG versus...
big thing for IG is to just keep the pressure up. Just keep pushing out these lanes. They do need to stick together if they want to be aggressive. They're going to go on Chuan as well as Burning. Great two-hero RP. Skewer follow-up, but in comes a Wild Luo. Then the boat. That's on three. Lagoon over the top. Burning survives it. What a turn it's been. He may die to this last nuke from the Skyrath. Looks Mech like he will. In. But Luo, oh, he's saved. And now he's even going to walk back forward. Magnus trying to turn this finish out. Burning misses the stun. But Luo cleans up Skyrath Mage. And now with an X on the Ice Ice Ice, he'll be the fourth man down. They bring down the Firebird as well. Another four-hero takedown by IG, who just continue to pile up the kills. Meanwhile, Ferrari pushed bottom lane because VG Gaming would be like, okay, Ferrari's pushing bottom lane, he's got backup lures alone, but they didn't take the bait. Oh, they found Hal, gets off the charge. Mystic Flare was waiting for him. Laguna over the top, how low, and will be killed off by Burning. The RP's good by Super. Skewer's two back, but he's got no one to do the damage here. And he may just go down. Yeah, X waiting for him. They get two cores for the price of an off-plate Spirit Breaker. Yep. They're happy with that. Again, funnily enough, almost even Golden XP exchange, but that's your two big carries on the Vici Gaming side, and IG going to secure an ease, and IG have done well. I think, if anything, this was just Chuan and Faith, great early game rotations. It hasn't been kind of specific to the one hero. Oh, 430 blinking in. They have an X to pull this Rubik a little bit farther back. BKB forced out from 430, and they do get the Kunkka kill. It's a Skyrath as a trade, but... Oh, Vici Gaming, they're okay with that. They force out the BKB and... He's being sorted out of the Ancients. Oh, I just want a creep. Give me a creep. There will be a blind on Luo here. And now, the Nether Strike follow-up. They're bringing in reinforcements. RP was waiting, but it's just for the Spirit Breaker. This may prompt a high ground attempt by IG after they finish off how They'll get him. Now they can turn to focus on the Egg. A couple of heroes working on it. Got off the Fire Spirits on Faith. Won't matter, though. They kill off the Egg. The Spirit Breaker still surviving, courtesy of his BKB. And now, Mauling Super with the Lantern. Gives him the Urn Charge, and... Oh, there's no blink available with this constant damage coming out. They've isolated him in the corner. Laguna just to make it hurt. That's IG. I, I, they're just all on the same page there. Lua's like, okay, I'm going in. This is a really bad spot for me to be, and he gets RP, but the dis defensive disruption, fourth, they've got great sustain as well because they can use the Kunker Exus and heroes back to base if they want to do some shopping. Oh, oh, how no, he can't get out. Caught by the Yules, and... Well, there used to be a troll there. It's like, even when he gets this BKB, they've got Axe Laguna Blade to go through it, SF with a Skydy to kind him around. Good luck with that. Well, it's Beachy Gaming looking for a counter-offensive mid, but guess who's waiting? Chuan as well as, well, Fate the one they jumped initially. Now the Spirit Break arrives, and suddenly they're just going to dogpile onto the Rubik, looking for Super as well. Rubik's going to go down here, it looks Still like. Boat, but not going to amount not gonna to much. Amount much. They wanted a second kill from Burning, but yep. couldn't quite find it. So another couple of Vici Gaming. Anyone who leaves the Vici Gaming base goes down. That's old here. He is starting to lap the troll as well as the Magnus. Out of control. Now the BKB charge. Luo going deep. We've seen this before. And it seems to be working about as well as it did last time. Yeah. How's going to be careful? There's Laguna Blade. He gets taken out of the game for one minute without buyback. Magnus pulled back for this. Hits a one year RP. He gets Yules in the air. That's going to set up an LSA and Super That's without a BKB. Not going to cut it. A Requiem raise. Right click. See ya! Another triple for 430. This guy is it's like he's just bowling nothing but strikes. 19-0 and 11. An absolute tour de force here.